Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be giving you guys an art supply tour and showing you like what I use to draw, like things that I use for like to make my traditional art. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. And um, I'm just going to like get straight into it. Starting with the liners and you know stuff I use to draw and then I'll move on to coloring and then other stuff. But starting with like the lining stuff, I have this in here. Um, I have like a lot of fine liners that I use. Starting with like some of the most popular, the, yeah, the Pigma Microns. These are like super popular. Like that's why I got them. Um, I got this one first, the 0 0.8 one. But yeah, I have a 0 0.8 and 0 0.1 one. And yeah, these are like really good pens. I've had like this one, the 0.8 one, for like a really long time. Probably like two years or two or three years. But I don't use it that often because it's like really thick. I don't use the 0.1 one either. But yeah, they are they like they are really long lasting. Maybe that's because I haven't used them, but in my experience, they are. So yeah, like this is this is what they look like. This is a point eight. It's kind of thick for me. I usually prefer a point five, but this is kind of like when I started art, and I I don't know which one I'd like, so I just got a random one. So yeah. And then this is afterwards, this is what my one for like details I use it sometimes, yeah. Then I also have um, the Uni Pin Fineliners. I have another brush tip one too. These are the ones I use really often because of the pen size. But um, yeah, this one is in 0.5, so like kind of mid something I use like very often uh it's so blurry this one's so blurry okay wait yeah this is what it looks like I also like that they have like a little window in here I just like 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 that but yeah I have another one somewhere the brush tip one wait a sec find that yeah this one this is a brush tip one I use this so often because like I can use this for calligraphy and line art, like all of that stuff. So yeah, this one is really useful. This is a brush tip. Yeah. I also have a couple more brush fine liners. They are the zebra ones. This and yeah, I got these in a pack. Where's the other one? Yeah, okay, there it is. Yeah. So I got these in a pack. These are the Tombow, yeah, not Zebra, Tombow Furunoski pens. These are both both brush tip and um, yeah, they're really good for like calligraphy or line art, yeah, pretty much everything. And there is a hard tip and soft tip one. This is a hard tip and soft tip. When I got these, I did not know that. I thought they were the same. But yeah, I made that mistake. They are different. This is the um, hard tip one. They have water-based ink, by the way. So yeah. And um, wait, I should swatch these. Wait a sec. This is the this is the soft tip one. I'll swatch these. Let me like pull up a page in the sketchbook. Okay, yeah. So don't mind the drawings inside that. I got, this is like a jump page, like kind of filler. This is a soft tip. Yeah, this is um yeah, this is this is what it looks like. Yeah. Pretty cool. This is the hard tip. Yeah, this is the hard tip. I'm pretty sure it's like this is just like a bit harder, less flexible. So yeah. That's probably like the only difference. But besides that, you know, when I got them, it was kind of hard to tell. That's why I didn't know. But yeah, yeah, these are good ones. Like, I've had them for a while and I do use them pretty often. Not that often. 
this one here since I have another one too, but yeah. Anyways. Oh, yeah. I also have this. This is just like a random like, fineliner that I got in my pack of um, alcohol markers. But yeah, it has two tips. Like it's double ended. This one is like the really, really thick, thick tip that I hardly ever use. And um, this is the tinier tip. So um, I don't know what. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know the brand because it's all in like Japanese, I think. Yeah, so I can't read any of it, but it's a fine liner and I got it in a pack. Yeah. Anyways, besides that, through liner, sometimes like when I'm doing watercolor, I use a ball pen or a gel pen for liner art. This is a zebra zebra pen. Yeah. Pretty good pen. I also use like other random black ball pens. But yeah. Okay, moving on to pencils. I have a ton of those. This is the this is like my most used one. I use this so often. I bought this from like a shop a while ago and then I just kept using it. I think it's out of stock right now. But yeah. Yeah, I, I, I use this like a lot. And then besides that, I have these big pencils in 0.7. Um, 0.7 is like my favorite lead size. I just like it for writing and drawing. But yeah, this is... I use these really often too because I have a ton of those. Um, I have this one. And um, I have a couple more in here. So, I have a ton of like more of these, but yeah, these are a couple of them. Anyways, I also yeah I also use this pen pencil. Um, this is another mechanical pencil. I use mechanical pencils like really often for drawing and stuff. But uh, yeah, this is point five. And I also use this Muji pencil. These are really popular, and I can see why. But like, yeah, this is a really good pencil. And the lead hardly ever breaks. Like, I love that about these pencils. Yeah, this is in 0.5. I don't think they have any other lead size in like this pencil. They do have the metal ones, but yeah. And, um, oh yeah, these pencils. These are the, um, Yumi Shilaku Mitsubishi pencils. Yeah, it's, it's a Japanese. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, these are, um, I have two of these. Point, in point 0.7 and point 0.5. I think, uh, yeah, I broke the point 0.5 one. I think I got, like, lead stuck in here or something. That's fine because I rarely use that. This is a point seven one. I'll just show you what it looks like. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I also um use this. <laughs> Oops. Um. Yeah. I also use this multi pen. Um. It's like your normal multi color pen. Yeah, I use this for sketching sometimes. And yeah, that's, that's about it. And I also, yeah, for highlights, I use this Yumi Signal 0.7, um, yeah, Yumi Ball Signal 0.7 white gel pen for like little highlights, like smaller highlights. And the Uni Posca pen for big ones. Yeah, this, this is what they look like. I'll show you closer. That's on white paper. This is the Uni Posca. You can barely see it. This is on the cover.
Yeah. And this is uni Yeah, uni ball signal. Yeah. Moving on to coloring items, um, coloring supplies, I have in colored pencils, I have the Prismacolor Premier 72 colored pencil set that um, I have, like, I use this, like, not that often, sometimes for, like, coloring, drawings, but yeah. You might have seen these in like one of my shorts. A couple of them, but yeah. There are like three of these thingies in here. Um in one box. There's one with like these colors. But yeah. These are like really good pencils. I love using them. They are they are super super good. Like, these are super good. Um, they're so soft, the only thing. I'm just gonna swatch this one for you guys. But yeah, they glide on your paper, and they're so easy to use, and they're so soft. Like, you can't see that? But yeah, this is like me barely pressing at all. And if you want to blend, it's really easy to do that. Like if you want to blend different colors. Yeah, so really, really good pencils. I've used them in, um, yeah, this one here. This one. I don't think I posted this. I don't know. Have I? But yeah. I used it in here. This is a drawing of my OC. Um, what was her name? Everly. Yeah. Yeah, this is her. So yeah, super easy to glide, like to blend with and to draw with. Um, yeah, like you can see the blending and shading in here. Yeah, really good pencils. Anyways, besides that, I. I have this set, um, this is 80 pieces, this is like an 80 marker set of alcohol markers from Touch, and yeah, these are the fine, these are like fine tip and black tip ones, and like fine tip and chisel tip ones, um, yeah, there's a fine tip and chisel tip. So this is what they look like. They are double-sided um, with the fine tip and chisel tip. Yeah, I'll swatch them here and show you guys. This is the orange one. This is a fine tip. Um, this is how much they bleed on the other side. Well, I mean, the bleeding technically depends on the paper, really. Not on the markers, but yeah. This is the chisel tip, the broad tip. Yeah. So I use these really often for color, coloring draw, like, like, um, line art and stuff. I don't know. I, I use these pretty often. I am running out of my skin color though. That's why I haven't been using them lately. Yeah. They are super easy to use, super fun. Yeah. But I'm, I'm gonna get, I'm just, yeah, I was zoomed in. Yeah, this is what they look like.
I almost forgot about these. And um, I use these to do watercolor. Like, I have three of them in three different sizes. Um, there's this one. The bigger one, I guess. This is like medium. Yeah. Then there's this. This is the tiny one. I don't use this that often. Um, and there's another one too. This is, yeah, this is the big one. I don't use the big one or the tiny one. I mainly use the medium sized one, but yeah. There's that. And I use this with like literally any watercolor, any watercolor work. I use like palettes or watercolor tubes, but yeah. They work pretty well for traveling too, and yeah. I think that might be it for pretty much like all my supplies. Well, that's like stuff that I mainly use. I do have like a ton of other stuff. But I hardly use that stuff. Not for art at least. Um, I have like brush pens that I use. They're not for like I use those for calligraphy. But yeah. So oh wait, yeah. Yeah, I almost forgot. There I I use this kneaded eraser. You can get these for really cheap, literally anywhere. These are really useful. Yeah. Basically, you know, when you draw with pencil or you sketch, like sketch, and um, you can use these. You can mold them into whatever shape you want. If you want, like, a finer tip or something. And then, yeah, you can use it to erase. And they don't have any eraser shavings, so that's also kind of convenient. But, yeah. These are, yeah, this is the, nice. Like, I, I like to use these. And if you're an artist I would, and you don't have one of these, I would totally recommend getting one. Yeah. Mine also came with this, like, tin box to keep it in. So that is pretty nice. But yeah. So yeah, I think that's about it for, like, my main art supplies. Like, what I mainly use. But yeah, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And yeah, stay tuned for my other long videos. And shorts too, I post those really often. And if you have any ideas for me, like any video ideas, comment down below. And yeah, I guess I'll see you later. Bye!